Can you, oh, so every time I talk, the lights are going to flash, yeah? Every time I look, every time I speak, the lights are flashing. Right, okay. This isn't um, my show, um, but listen, it's great that he's managed to get all these numbers in here. Um, sorry the show started late, so I've got to apologise on behalf of the management, so I'm sorry. If anybody's got epilepsy, well, you're in trouble. <laughs> Someone's going to have a seizure today. You're all right, bro, because you look like you're dribbling from the back already. You're all right. <laughs> but like this. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, you're right, bro. I just want to make health and safety. I need to make sure you're okay. Because every joke, every laugh is going to keep flashing. You're fucked, bro. <laughs> we ain't got no insurance. You know, it's got a black show. No insurance, bro. No, I know that so, uh, people are celebrating something. If you celebrate something, make some noise. Oh, that's, a, that's everybody. Shit. Is it your birthday? His birthday, his birthday. Is it fun? Is it your birthday? Hello, sister. My girl, my girl. I said, my girl, and you ain't sitting nowhere near her. My girl, my girl, over there. <laughs> now, welcome. Um, happy birthday. Is it your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. I know there's a hen in there as well. Where is she? Woo! Where's her sister? Where are you? Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> where, is she? where is she? About to commit suicide, isn't she? <laughs> Who's married in there? Make some noise. Who's married? <laughs> Four people. Fucking marriage is shit. Marriage is shit. Look how she's pretending to be happy. <laughs> is your husband here? Is your, excuse me, my love. Is your husband here? Where is he? This one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, listen. I know it sounded bad. Me say she's pretending to be happy. You both pretend to be happy, bro. Be honest. Come on, how long have you been together, bro? No, no, don't look at her. No, 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 no. Don't look at her like a, like how far the sun was from the moon. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't give him no help. Don't give him no help. This is how much he loves you. How, how long have you been together, bro? Ten years you've been together. How long have you been married? Don't look at her. Don't look at her. Three years. Three years. You look quite young, bro. How old are you? Thirty-six. How old are you, my love? <laughs> She's a cougar, you know. No, she fucking passed him. She went in. Where you meet you meet in a primary school? <laughs> she just stands there at the gate. Yeah, I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> they make a nice looking couple, though. Very, very attractive couple. You have children? Oh, God, how many of them, bro? Do you know that one? <laughs> how, how old are they? Oh. You got twins? Oh, you got twins. He says she got twins. Oh, we got twins. Okay. How old are they, bro? Seven. See, I got twins as well, you know? Who, who, which side is it? Which side? Yours. It's fucking horrible, isn't it? It's, no, it's not nice. Your boss wants to end up with twice the responsibility. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done. Because you don't want to take a chance and end up having another set of twins and then have to change your car. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, man. And, and my kids. One of them, you got boys? Boy and girl, you're lucky, you can stop now. You can stop, I've got all boys, that's it. One of my boys is nasty. Like proper, I don't know if you look got any boy child in it. Proper, is no hygiene. You know one of those nasty kids where they pretend to have a bath? <laughs> Who does that? 15, you know, pretend to have a bath. Fuck I'm up this, run the bath, wet his flannel. <laughs> Does this when they're like a homeless person? <laughs> Fucking idiot spent 20 minutes hitting up a crime scene. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No more, man. But good luck. I hope everything works out. Now, what's your name? Troy. Lloyd. Lloyd and Nina. Lloyd and Nina. You know, you make such a lovely couple, you know. Where did you meet? Where did you meet? This is interesting. Where did you meet? I bet you, was, I bet you used to babysit him or something. Didn't you? <laughs>
Oh, it's quite six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just test. You wait, you wait until it is just legal, though, isn't it? <laughs> Watch it. When's your birthday? What time is it? What time is it? <laughs> now, listen, are you two together, bro? Yeah. Oh, look at that. How long have you been together? How long have you been together, bro? Nine years. And you're still sitting next to each other? That's nice. <laughs> look what happened to Lloyd. Look at that. <laughs> Just out of striking distance, isn't it, man? It's, so nine years, are you married, bro? Not yet. Not yet, but she's got a wedding ring on, and you haven't. What's happened, bro? Oh, or is that an engagement ring? Yeah. Engagement ring. So you're engaged, congratulations. How long have you been engaged, bro? Yeah. Don't look at her. <laughs> Three years! Come on, man! Come on! I'm sick and tired of black men doing this shit. <laughs> what is, what's this long engagement bullshit? Fuck, do the right thing, man. What are you waiting for? I bet he's waiting for his partner to come through. I'll explain the joke to the white people who are past you. It's basically a savings scheme. I'm asking it to you. Basically, you put in like 20 pounds a month, and before you get your money, like somebody teeth you. Couple times, a couple times, what, a year, a week? 
So I love going gym. I see some couple of hedge guys in the back, muscle man. Muscle man always coming to shows late as well, innit? They never go that early, get early bird tickets. Oh, muscle man coming late. And you notice muscle man always walk sideways as well as they walk through. <laughs> Big and bulky, hedge. The man that's just too muscly. The man that got a six pack hair. Six pack hair. Six pack hair. Man take off his top, he look like a calculator. So, uh, <laughs> Tell you his name's Cow, and he's lying, his name's Cassio. <laughs> Big and bulky. But some girls like that, the man of muscle. Man got muscle on their neck and all that. You try to kiss him on the neck, he'll crush your face. You know them man there? <laughs> Shut up, boys. But I'm gonna ask a question, and I want you lot to answer me properly. What girls prefer? Yeah? Ladies, what do you prefer? Last skin or dark skin? <laughs> Dry though, innit? You know when it's 
sun track goes brown, because in the jail track, I remember. The name is just about with Lady Little and Miss.
they ain't emoji faces as well. <laughs> and if that's WhatsApp, she'll watch you read it as well. Anyway. <laughs> Them two blue ticks fucked up the whole kit. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> two blue ticks, yeah. <laughs> fucked up. And lies, lies, I know lies is a big thing in relationships. Lies is huge. And that, that destroys many relationships. I'm gonna ask you a question, and I'm gonna give it to be honest with you. Yeah? yeah. No. <laughs> I really wasn't like yeah. Who likes more, guys or girls? Funny, when girls are standing in the hills. It's, it's, it's bad, but to me it's funny. 
and the girls are standing in the hills looking pretty, and the foot just gives way. He said, I love that you're standing there. Oh my God, oh man. I, I, I don't know what happened. Don't touch me, I've got a man. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I love that. I was when they were trying to walk and talk at the same time, and the foot gives way. I love that. And he's like, where did you park? Even when you leave the rain, yeah? I hate this. How many times when you leave the rain? This is what I call the toilet situation, yeah? They're talking in the back here. Yeah. I like it. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I'm ignoring them. Even when you leave the rain, I've noticed it. This is what I like to call the toilet situation, actually. Yeah? Have you ever noticed sometimes you go in the toilet, yeah? And there's a man standing there in the toilet. This is for the guys, obviously. Yeah? There's a man standing there in the toilet, usually an African man, yeah? And he's got lollies, <laughs> tissues. Cream, like some peanut butter in the toilet. Look at my friend, man. I don't know you, Babatunda. I don't know you. And I, apparently, girls have the same thing in their toilet. I didn't notice you. Did you know that? That girls have a little African leg. I didn't know that. I thought it was the guys. I didn't know you had that. But what's different to the girls' toilets and the guys' toilets? Yeah? Only this can happen in the girls' toilet. Girls can enter the toilet as strangers, but leave as friends. What conversation did you have to become friends so quickly? You, I don't even know how this happened. You know what I reckon, yeah? This is what I reckon, yeah? Because this is what I reckon, this is what I reckon. You're standing in the toilet, you're there, you're probably in front of the mirror, you know, and you've got that one girl watching you through the mirror looking at you, and she's like, oh my god, sorry to disturb you. I don't know why I know this, I don't know why I know this. Sorry to disturb you. But the way the dress holds your body is really nice. Yeah. 
start walking to the treadmill. Uh, <laughs> you see, that's connected on her shoulder. Uh, <laughs> when you get that mad skinny bitch on the treadmill, she's going every time you're there. Now.
And we did a wine behind you and tell you about nobody in the no one. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you give me that the pum pum there, I tell my bridge in my mind, say, yo, that me fuck it. Quick thing, I have to you. Everybody I know is in me and you are fucked, never. Yeah, and if woman them can't keep a secret neither. Watch out, all that DJ, don't do that to them. Just don't touch No. No, the woman them can't keep a secret neither. No, I want to say, give them the good work, you know, they learn to tell them friends. They say put in some position. In twist up me fuck them like capital S. Real thing. And if you can't fuck her, go she have a dog too. In work, Chris. In pop down. One minute and in bus. He couldn't even give me round two. <laughs> See, they, they, so my girl in here, so. Them that. For those who have never seen me before, I know the light not so really bright, but I'm really white. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, um, what it is is, um, me, me get carried away with the bleaching grief. <laughs> I never know when to stop. Are we men, you know, we don't like to read instructions. So I just take it out of the box and rub it on. I never know so you have to wash it off for a certain time. So we left it on for one week. And, yeah. So if anybody needs any after the show, let me know I have them a sell now. And then work. Earlier when Axel said dark skin and light skin, I feel that way because I get left out. And you just left me out so. You know like when you fill out an application and had other, like you just feel like other, like shit. That's me. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. But yes, I'm originally from Jamaica. Yeah, Caribbean people make some nice. Hey yo, Jano! Yo! Yeah, sound effects you now. We Jamaicans born with sound effects, man. What about that? Yo! From Jamaica and coming to England, I realized like a lot of differences. Like me realize I'm a white when we come to England. <laughs> no, seriously. And it makes sense. My father never used to have no mirror in the house, so it makes sense now you never want to confuse me. And it makes sense again because when you used to do history lessons back in school in Jamaica, me wonder why everybody used to look for me. With that evil look like they want to kill me. <laughs> but we never know at the time. Never know. And hey, let me tell you something. You know when I realize I'm a white, I will reach an airport. And you know you, anybody will travel with you know. If you don't travel, get a passport, come out of your postcode. Um, <laughs> they have the sign that will say British passports this way or EU this way. And then it have other passports that way. So I start walking towards the other. And a woman stopped me and said, Excuse me, sir, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> I said, Okay. That's not true. They didn't even look in my book. I dash it away. I said, Block that. I mean, I need that again. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And obviously, like, my wife, but when the talk, when I hear, said, Well, my wife, but. The accent and the skin color not really much. So it confused a lot of people. Did you know you like me know it hard for a lot of Caribbean people, especially Jamaican people, for we get a job. It's very hard. We can not judge me straight away. You know how much job interview me get? Me get a whole heap. Well, my first name is Harry. That helps. No white. That helps. No, remember what I'm saying, I'm get a whole heap of job interview. I don't get the job. I just get the interview. I'm a fuck that up all the time. They start asking me a bad question. So he says here that you um you got five GCSEs? Eh. Excuse me? Say, yeah man, that me up bro. That the peer pass at all, you can't read one. But like you need to go up at school. Yeah. We will call you back. 
Yeah, never, never get no job. Never, ever. Ever. Yeah, but go find a new way when we get in the like. Maybe I forget an English person speak for me and record it and then play it back. You know the Martin question? Let's play back. Yes. No. Yes. Now talk ask Suri, because Suri loves talk, so I'll ask Suri to do that. Yeah, man, but it's crazy as I get like enough differences I realize when we come here as well. Enough. Enough, enough differences. Like with how certain men approach certain women. It's different. Everybody have their own approach. You know, like we Jamaicans, when we are taught to a girl, we love to use this the punch attire technique. You know it, though. No. You see a girl that we can see that. And when, when she, when she doesn't look around, we try to remix it, you know? Psst, hi, hello, psst, yes, darling, psst, yo, you, brownie, brownie. And we try to describe, like, we, we try our best because sometimes we have to wonder if you did not hear me, so I want to make it clear so you hear me now. So I start describing you. We're like, yo, you, pink gloves, yo, yo, green slippers, hey, you with the test cup. You know, we, we try our best to make it. Weird. But it shocked me like with, with, with like um, African men. Them do this style where me not understand it because a Jamaica, when, when we do this, a dog we are dog. We are dog with dog. Here yeah, puppy. And them do it. Don't know you say not pick up. Different. But the approach now, when them finally like see a girl in the club, it is different. Like English guys, White guys, them, them, <laughs> them, them do this thing what we call it, the wandering. They like to wonder anytime they approach a girl. Like then we see a girl and then walk to the girl and be like, <laughs> excuse me, um, I was just wondering. <laughs> Did you come here with anyone? I was wondering. You see, they love to wonder, could I buy you a drink? I was wondering, no, stop being a wonder man. You wonder, wonder and get lost. And mad people are not wonder, you know. If you see a mad person I walk right now, look for them and look like them wondering. <laughs> Different. Jamaican man, when we approach a woman now, because women like when a man can take care of them needs and them wants. So when a Jamaican man approach a woman, we tell her about her needs and her wants. Like this. <laughs> you are going to need it You are going to say, there's a man like me you need in a real life. There's a man like me you want in a real life. Needs and wants. Cover. <laughs> Africans, they have the some different shit. Some kidnapping terrorist shit. <laughs> and they want to know you You are going home with me tonight. <laughs> they don't care. They don't want to know you near me, man. No. No. Any Africans here tonight? I ask that first. <laughs> Next time, start with a dot dot dot. Hey, no, but here thing now, yeah? Like, um, they, they, I don't think there's any African comedians on the, on the show tonight. There's one other guy in here that will talk about that, but the thing about it, yeah, they love cost Jamaican takeaways. I'm tired right now. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Seriously, I don't know if you stop it too. Yes, attitude in the shop, so what? The food, nice. Don't complain. No, but it's true. Let me tell you something. The reason why I don't get attitude, and anybody will have attitude too. 1230 people going into a Jamaican or a Caribbean restaurant and ordering oxtail rice and peas. It is fucking lunchtime. Ah, oh, that's something simple that I cook for later dinner time. That's when I get attitude. Yeah. True. 
No, but yeah. <laughs> but you see another thing as well. Like, you see, like, you see when we just come to um come to England, right? We realize that being white and coming from Jamaica, it, it, it has like 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 a little power, you know? Like a little power we never know about. Uh, you're not sure about my man? Look at me come so much nicer. My God. Yeah. You sound like fall in a fall coat, man. But by the back of me, you know, by the back of me, you know, just hold it down. I know what I should have. Shit on the mat! You know what I mean? Then it's a lock up there, mouth, it stinks. Aqua fresh enough to buy. Wash out my mouth, we'll call me a damn thing there. Hey, you see, Jamaican woman, I'm our style, yeah. When they get angry, then help us out. Let me tell you something. And them vice deep and them, them bottom jaw drop, the jaw just drop. You don't feel like nobody in your room. I hold it, then shut up the mouth. And I'm my fault, they can have seat to sit up on. Make your shoes burn, yo. You should have a flat, it's a bitch. I oh, love Jamaica, I love them, I love them. Uh, <laughs> hey, this is a thing with, with the Jamaican women. Alright, my answer is Anybody ever been to a Jamaican party before? Like, yeah. real bashment party. Yeah. The thing about it is, is the different characters you have inside. The different people. Like, if you ever go to one and don't drink and just stay sober, I most joke you get in your life. My mom tells you. First off, like, English women and Jamaican women, them get really different when they're about. That's true. You see English women? Them start drinking them house before they go out. Yeah. They make sure them drunk before they go out. And them go to the clubs free before 10.30. Because they not here for you, And them drunk at them yard already. Them go to the club and enjoy themselves. They don't buy no drink. That's it. I didn't go buy the drink, then the club they were said one pound drink all night. That them do. Jamaican woman now, not free before 10.30. At 11.30, they still not here just a shop get for them here, though. Yeah. And then when you go inside the club, now you have different characters. Like, with the man them, you have the rude boy them, the so-called bad man them. You know what them? The man will stand up in the corner, dark corner, screw up their face, put it over their head, they in a dark corner in our club with a two hoodie over their head and screw up their face. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see your screw up face. Nobody with it. You're not afraid nobody tonight. Stop it. <laughs> then you have the dancing guys. These guys are dance from outside the club. <laughs> practicing routine. You have to do that when you're going. Back to man, name the man. You have dance together with the wine and the other man. Serious. Then you have the hype man them. Now, the thing where we're, we're kind of puzzling with them, man, you know, them wear the tightest pants possible. <laughs> like them have leggings. If they put them hand in their pocket and move so it's stuck. <laughs> Serious. Then you have the girls there, you know, like any stush girls near tonight? Yeah, yeah I don't remember that, but no. <laughs> but the stush girls, they want like for them to do the make party. No, I'm true. You see them like club act nice like this. Now, guys, let me tell you something. You see when you see a girl that do this? It's not a dance. Basically, the shoes are squeezed them. And all they're doing is easing the pressure from one side to the other. <laughs> if you wear them size are true, but the smaller size is cheaper than the shoes. <laughs> but no, then you have my favorite. These women are the most entertaining women inside the dance. You don't even know them in the dance. Because one thing them are weird on the video light. <laughs> when that the video light turn on and goes up, <laughs> to them I go so <laughs> and then grab them friend them. Yo, Marcia, Pali, come see the video light there. Eh? And then take off like this. Yeah! Big up me, me and my father! Big up the five people and then make a sleep! Big up the good, good hairdresser, I look at me and I look at I come at them and them do it. Just come on, Jamaican, come on, man. Them proud enough, them proud. Anybody did 
watch the um the video with me and the Jamaican lady. Yes. We respect that lady then. Yes. Because at no point did she back down from Mayweather. That was the first fight my Mayweather lose. And he couldn't take it. I'm a lose. You know, he on the ropes and couldn't handle it. You know, the lady said, who is you? Mayweather is like, what? I'm Floyd Money. No, Floyd Mayweather. I'm a boxer. Don't you watch boxing? She said, yeah. I watch the big fight. They were like, Michael Tyson. <laughs> I do the biggest fights. She said, no, I'm gonna hear about you. Who is you? <laughs> they went to the window, went to the window, this. He said, I am Floyd, money man, Mayweather. She said, hello, hello, who are you on there? I will for money man there around here. Who is you? <laughs> but I like it because she keep it real the whole time. And Jamaican woman them proud. A Jamaican woman don't need a man to tell them so they look good. Just give them a mirror, them do it themselves. Look how me look good. Look how a good, good body. I can mark them out of the road. Yeah. Seriously. Hey, did, did anybody, did anybody see that the paper yeah? About the spider, where if you bite it can paralyze you. Not to read newspaper more often, you don't watch news car. Everything I go on, we have to try to kill we off. Yeah, basically, there was a spider that was imported over from some um, vegan fruits, and if it bites, it can paralyze you. Now, meanwhile, me I read the newspaper, me I read the topic and everything, and start getting into it. Me hear the name, and the name was David. I mean, I said, right, that's tricky because David can be either Caribbean or English because that's, that's a very biblical name, isn't it, David? So I said, I go look at the picture, white man. I said, he did that. He did that. Me, me, me can't just picture the whole scenario. Me can't picture David going home, opening the door, and walking, and see the spider, and the police. Fucking hell, love. Look at the size of that one. Get the kids, let's fucking take a picture with him. He's fucking got a red spot. Now, let me tell you something. Red normally means danger. Like, if you see a stop sign or a, or a no entry sign, it's normally red. You don't go down there. Stop light, red means you've stopped. A girl up on a period, red, you've stopped. This pussy got touch the spider. Buy it up your money for me. Could have killed her. Now, me know that could have happened in my house. No! Me come home in a Jamaican house. Open my door, pick me them and be a mother that they be me. Open the door. Oh, that. Yo, 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 go back outside. Go ahead and carry that open door. Me and this are boy and this are boy. Yo, hey, don't tell me up here. Don't just buy. Nasty. You have to pay rent in my house. You have to pay for my light bill. Come out of this. No, I shouldn't do that. No, but this is man. After years, then comedian are killed with Jamaicans, you know. <laughs> Just a big some revenge tonight. <laughs> no, it's crazy, it's crazy. But what I was talking about is, is the power. That like, I never realized about that power until we come here. Like being white and come from Jamaica, I had that power that I didn't realize I had. And I had to use it at one point. Basically, I got invited out to a club of West End. So my friend said, yo, Harry, we'll go out later. Suit thing, shoes and that. I said, yeah, dog, I'm glad that they don't know my story at the point. He said, no, dog, blow the clocks tonight. <laughs> I said, yo, it's cool, no man. He said, yo, they're not going to let you with that. I said, right, cool. So I'm going to go out and dress correct. So I'm reaching the place now. I drink some juice and, you know, fluids are flow. So I need to use the restroom. So I make my way to the toilet and thing now. Now, approaching the toilet and getting inside, there was a cubicle doors. And all three of them were locked. So I pushed upon them and I realized that there's somebody in there. I said, wait, people really come and come and use the toilet like that? Now, ladies, I don't have to sit use the toilet. But if a man in a toilet sit down, that wrong dog, 
I do know you know people them come do you man. Nastiness that. I'm mean, gonna promote nastiness. So I'm gonna get mad because they don't have a guy inside there selling perfume and everything there. I mean I said they don't feel sorry for this man. This man son I work hard and them they are doing the thing there. So I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna start pumping in door. Dutty nasty boy, come out! Dutty do the work in a club boy, get out! So I'm gonna bust my piss now. Meanwhile, I'm dead now. Jamaican plants, we have a style where we got like murmuring. Basically, we will carry on the argument without it. <laughs> Alright, furthermore, we don't even need you to start arguing with you. We will argue for you and for me. And that me I do. Me, like sometimes you will see a Jamaican and I walk on the road, you know. And of course, in no man. In no man. In just a carry on the argument. So you go. Somebody I wash my hands and I said, Dirty bumbo, cut them boy, mask, trust me, no dog, nasty. Like somebody there talk to me, yeah, but man, tell us, bum, shut. Then me hear the door go, so I said, Watch me and that dirty boy. So I'll be here in the back of my head, is, Where's that yardy out here? Where's the yardy? I'm gonna knock him out. I said, Wait. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm dry off my hand and turn and say, Yeah! Knock me in my hand and I just. But, you know, we always do it. Anything can go on with. Yeah? Yeah? Not at the end, but yeah. So, I turn around and I look up. I look at my brother face. So, check to see if someone there behind him took a brother. Me. So, I look down for me and I say, Whoa! Do you know where he is? I realize, you know what I'm saying? But in my head, me and some man a bad man. <laughs> me not afraid of no boy. <laughs> so me have a deal there now. I want to say, you know what, mate? He went out there, you know. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do it to him. I'm just going to crack it. People, that's my time. My name's Prince Harry, a.k.a. the White Yard. I'm going to talk to Prince Harry. Somebody on stage now, quickly, who's going to talk to you for two minutes about a charity event. For two minutes, you have to listen to what he's got to say. This guy, um, yeah, let's bring the banner in. Um, this guy, you probably know him, he's been in Paris in the Caribbean. He's been in, uh, what other things has he been in? I think that's it, to be honest. But <laughs> no, he's been in a lot of things. He used to be in Desmond's. Remember Desmond's? For the over, for the over 35s? Now the 25s, it was a black show that we had years ago. Fuck you know. And um, make some noise for the one and only Robin G! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening everybody. My name is Robin G. Sorry for those of you that can't see me. I'm, I'm not red skin. Um, I'm an actor. Uh, so Okay, so those who don't know, yes, uh, way back in the day I did a thing called Desmond's and also a thing called Royal McCoy and a few other things, a rush, touch, 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 touch. Okay, shh, 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 Lovely, 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 lovely. Shh, 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 shh. Anyway, seriously, right, so basically, I've been doing it for a long time, 25, over 25 years. And I'm glad that you've all supported me and everything like that. And now, right here. Who, where is he? Who is he? Where is he? Where is he? Love that. Love. One, two, one, two. Sorry? Huh? What did he say? Have I got any, have I got any money? You sound like my fucking baby mother's voice. Oh. So listen, 25 years on, okay, just, just very seriously now, 25 years later, I want to give some stuff back. So in July 2015, these guys here, okay, Africa's tallest freestanding mountain is Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, if you don't know, 
They say in, in next year, one in two of us will be, you know, related to the big C, okay? I'm sure everybody out there has somebody that they can touch that they know has been affected by it. So 2007, this guy here, Eddie Nesta, BBC Radio, every single Monday to Friday, BBC Radio, he was diagnosed with cancer. Six months of treatment, chemo treatment, battled it, kicked it to the curb, said, no work, go away. So he now has decided he wants to put something back as well. Climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for four charities. Macmillan Cancer Research, ACLT, Urban Synergy and the Rural Hawker Foundation. We have raised £25,000. We're trying to get it to 40000 Clearly not to fucking night. I'm not looking for £15,000 up in Europe. Right? But ladies and gentlemen, please, if you want to text, text SILLY, S-I-L-I, to 70500, and you can donate £5 that way. Or if not, there's three young ladies out there with t-shirts like this. Please, we've got buckets. I'm going to come amongst you now. We're going to go into an interview. Please, anything you can give, pound, pennies, coins, anything you can give, I guarantee you, guarantee you, every single penny will go towards the charity. I am a Jamaican. You can take my word for it. Every penny will go to the charity. Please, ladies and gentlemen, do something, make a difference. We're going to climb the mountain, so please help us support the cause. Thank you for listening. My name is Robert G. Boys! There's too much road in there. Jesus Christ. There's some gangsters in there, you know. It's so straight. It looks like the front is like proper posh. And as it go further back, it just get more road. <laughs> Look at my man behind the glass like he's in prison. Why, 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 why. No, it's, it's nice at the back, man. So anybody celebrating anything at the back? Is it a birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday! I hope you is it today? No. No, but then <laughs> fuck you, come back and it's your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> Done with this shit, man. This is it is nice though, it is nice. I don't want Jamaicans are in here. Woo! Yeah. There's nothing wrong with us. Sorry, I'm just spelling you. Sorry. <laughs> There's something wrong with Jamaican people, you know. You know my granddad, I swear to you, I'm not going to his house no more. I ain't going to his house. Every time I go there, the man's got the same dead story to tell me, you know. <laughs> same story! You know what you're going there? How you doing, granddad? Yeah, I like you know, son. Not too bad. Hey, please don't come here. <laughs> you know my man? No. You know your wife, sister bird? No. Why? She dead. <laughs> I can't believe just drop dead both so 120 in a hard prime. In a hard prime. I'm a fucking mad man. I'm gonna cut him off next time I go down there, you know. How you doing, granddad? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, come here. You know a byron? Yeah, he's dead, isn't he? Oh, you know what? You never see a divine line, do you? The man just dropped dead books so 136 in a hand prime, in a hand prime. No, the man, it's the Africans I can't believe. It's not wrong with the Africans, man. I'll be honest, it's, not, it's your food, I can't take it. I don't, I can't. It's your food, I like the people, the food is just... Why? Only three ingredients in African food, you know? I've got onion, tomato and pepper, that's it. But everything's fucking red, everything's red.
nice. You try and talk to your friend. Like, I don't mind getting boiled by a girl. If I come at you and you say, fuck off, you're a dickhead, you're a waste man, I'll take that. That's on me. If your friend does it, out of nowhere, fuck off, she's got a man, you're a dickhead, you're a waste man. Yeah? Your friend might get slapped. That's on me. I'm joking, I would never do that. Oh, that's wrong. I would never hit a woman. Especially your woman, look how big. Yeah? <laughs> so you get it, so you start tensing. <laughs> go gym, big man, go gym. Stop lying, man. What did you guys always lie for? That's not oxygen, man. Yeah? I'll go gym as well. I'll go gym as well. See, why not? See, it's not me. When I started going to gym, people always laugh. Because uh, normally, in the gym, everyone's like hench or fat. So when I go to the gym, it's weird. Everything stops in the gym. The music stops. The TV stops. The protein shake stops. Everything stops. And everyone looks at me, like, what's this guy gonna do? I get so conscious. I do some stretches. Do some breathing. Look around, touch the weights. Yeah, that works. <laughs> then I go Zumba. I don't need that stress. Yeah? You go Zumba, big man? I don't really, I always want to get hench, but I don't really want to get hench. There's certain things that hench guys can't do that skinny guys can do. The hench guys can't dance. So you hench guys in the club, they don't really dance, do they? They're like, he's like, yeah, that's a tune still. <laughs> yeah, now you be off, you be off, man. Yeah, yeah. Next tune is me, it's still next tune. When I go to the club, I can do any dance I want. I can cut shakes. Shakes! Do this a song. The Chris Brown dance like <laughs> a head guy can't do that dance. We'll try it, he'll be like, oh, shit, I'm stuck. Wait, wait, Tyro, quick, spot me, spot me. I'm his leg there. Come quick. But there's certain things hedge guys can do that skinny guys can't do. Like a hedge guy, you go to a club in a vest, get it, no problem. Yeah, I can't do that. I try that. The bouncer gets angry. Hey, no! Hey, no! 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 No crackers in there, fam. Yeah? You want a dog and duck down the road. It's all about just keeping healthy, though. Keeping healthy. Keep healthy, do you want? You play football? What team is it called? What's the. I'm from South London, it's also Man United, of course. But no. You Man United fan? What do you think it's a Ah, Liverpool, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Kill yourself, you shit. You play football? What do you play football? What, where do you, what team do you play for? It's in the park. Oh, wait, it's like, I wasted. I thought I said it now. I thought it's semi poesite. That's what it says. Do you your thing though, man. Keep, keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> so you work, you got a proper job? I'm just saying, yeah, you got a job. What do you work at? You're a movie manager. You drive a van. No. No one knows what that means. I'm trying to, trying to talk to you. You're trying to blow me down. Ah, <laughs> cool. That's cool, man. That's, that's good you got a job, though, man. You, you got a job. It's, it's hard, man. Things are expensive, man. Things are expensive. Like, and like, when you're out there, for me, when I'm out there, things are expensive. Like, this is a date. I see you buying bottles and stuff. That's you. I, I would have lied. I said, yeah. But, um, I went out with a girl once. A man then went to advice, if you go out with a girl, know where you're going, do your research first. Because drinks are expensive. For no reason, crazy expensive. Went to a bar one day, it was like in the West End. I said to the girl, what do you want to drink? And I'm going to get you a drink. She was like, can I get a vodka and coke? I said, okay, cool, I'll get you that. Went to the barman, I said, barman, give me a vodka and coke and a bottle still left myself. The barman said to me, that'd be 22 pounds 60. I was like, what? I thought that was beef. I was like, what? Say that again. You can bad it. Say it again to my face. You're bad. <laughs> and he was bad. He said it again to my face. He broke it down. It was like 30 pounds for the vodka and coke, 9 pounds for the Stella. I was like, okay, oh shit, okay. Um, I paid rent this month. All right. It's like a cool enough. Okay, say it. Okay. Just give me the um, give me the vodka and coke. And give me some water. Tap. <laughs> put some ice in it. Put a lemon in it. Shake it about. Make it fizzy. I'll work with that. Yeah, give me the drink, I'll go back to the girl, give her the drink, oh, thank you, Junior. 
what do you get for yourself? I said, what do I get for myself? This is, um, this is a vodka lemonade. And she was like, okay. It was like, tatwa. So no, this is definitely vodka lemonade. And she was like, ah, oh, can I taste some? I was like, no, fuck off, yeah? You've got your own drink. Dickhead. It was awkward after that. It was awkward. Nice drink. Times have changed though, I see everyone's got these smartphones. I miss the older days, man. You remember the days, yet yeah, when the best phone was the 3310? Remember them days? Had snakes too. Yeah? Go through the walls. Yeah, and um, make it on ringtones as well. It took long, but fuck it. Take a day off school. Yeah? Goodbye, mate. And also, that phone had the internet. So I was going to start the internet. What? Internet? It did. Just that like back in them days, no one dared. You did on it. You were shook. <laughs> that was your hook when it gone. <laughs> you be on your phone and you put the bar on that whack bar by mistake. Oh shit, no, whack, no, no, no! It's, 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 it's break the phone is cheaper. It's credit it was tight. Credit it was when you're younger, you get 10 pound credit, will last like two, three days, or last 10p. The last 10p, you would stretch that out, wouldn't you? That was your drop call credit. And you drop call everyone. Everyone. To that like one dickhead. Remember that guy? Who would just fuck up the whole operation and answer the phone quickly. You would like ring like, hello, no, hello. What is wrong with you, bro? Who does that? Dickhead. His credit was tight. Credit was tight and like, everyone was a one-to-one -one back in the day. And you can tell who's on what network. 079 was one to one. 077 was Vodafone. 078 was Orange. You can tell. And for us guys, it was deep. We need to think twice about getting a girl's number if she were a one to one. You have to think twice. You check out, like, what's going on, babe? What's your name? Okay, cool. Well, how are you? Okay, well, you got a man? No, what? Well, can we get a number? Okay, great. Let me take it out. Okay. 078, wait a minute, stop there. <laughs> what network you on? <laughs> Orange! No, it's not gonna work, you know? Sorry to waste your time. Sorry to waste your time, man. The channel of girls is nuts, man. It's nuts, because, like, ladies, do you, get, do you girls think that men are too rude when they're chatting you up? And I think, if a guy is rude to you, be rude to him back. That's someone, but if he's like polite to you, but you're not on it, be polite to him back. Yeah. That's someone's child, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, come on. I see too many of my friends get buoyed out for no reason and start killing people. Yeah, that's someone's child. The other day, I was in the bar stop, just jamming. I've got a car bar, which is just the environment thing, isn't it? Yeah, I was jamming the bus stop, and this guy came out of nowhere, like Superman, came out of nowhere. Run up to a girl, oi, quick, oi, big man ting. Oi, what's your number? How are you? How, oh, seven, what? How are you? Oh, seven, what? The girl was like, sorry, I got a man. The guy switched, he's like, oh my days, wait a minute. Did I ask you, got a man? What's your number? Oh, seven, what? How are you? The girl was like, sorry, you're too rude. You leave me alone, you're too rude. He switched, he's like, oh my days. Am I a dickhead though? Am I a dickhead? But he asked me, he's like, fam, fam, am I a dickhead? I was like, um, I don't know you that well. Uh, you see my pain to me, you're a bit loud. In the, in the clubs is nuts, man, in the clubs. Remember one day, and clubs change as well. But the man them will dance with each other now. Have you seen man dance with each other before? Not like that, no one's getting wined on. Yeah, no one's getting dabbed in. Maybe I don't know what you do. Yeah, but no one's getting wined on. But like the house music, like you go know, one way, dun, 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 If you do it right, it looks cool. Dun, dun. Da, da, da. I was my boy the other day in the club, yeah? We used to do this for half an hour. <laughs> I was like, you know what, yeah? This is gonna be gay now, you know? <laughs> but this one, I get some numbers, man. So this is a big man, so like, go over there, watch, I'm gonna get a number, it's not long. It's not long. I walked over there, walked over there, to the beat as well. Walked over there, to the beat. I was gassed up, had my Gucci belt on, my new Oyster card. I thought I was hot. I was talking to her to the beat, I was like, dun, 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 She was like, don't talk to me, you dick! I was like, okay, cool, say that. Dun, 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 dun. 
Obviously, the man don't ask questions. They were like, fam, I'm having over there. So don't watch that, she lesbian. Yeah, so let's <laughs> go back to our dancing. We should went that way, yeah? It's crazy, man. I love music, man. I'm a big music fan. Big music fan. What's better right now, like Apple Beats or Bashman? It's a bit mixed, a bit mixed, a bit mixed. I like, I like Afro Beats. I said before I'm African. I'm not actually African. I'm from, like, I'm from Guyana. But I can pass to African. I know you think I'm, I thought I was Guyanese, innit? Yeah? I'm quite dark, I don't think so. When I say Guyana, they say what? Ghana? I'm like, no, Guyana. Do you mean Ghana? No, I mean Guyana. You sure not Ghanaian, fam? I know where I'm from, fam. But I like Afrobeats music. I like Afrobeats. Yeah, before Afrobeats, there was no African music, was there? There was none. There was none. There was none. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you had the drums. Yeah, but. You had the band on the table. Now, listen. I mean, like mainstream African music. That's what I mean. No offense. Charlie. Yeah? To the head back, I'll see you. I'll see you, sister. I'll see you watching. Yeah. But no, remember before Afrobeats came out, the only African songs people knew about were the songs from The Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the winner! Mashiro! That was a big tune. But I think, Af like, I prefer Afrobeats than to like Bashman. I think Bashman is too sexually aggressive. Do you think? Do you think? Don't you think? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, me, my, me, myself, when I heard Bashman, you pussy tight in, you pussy tight in, you pussy tight in. Jeez, pussy tight, yeah? Alright. Talk to me later. <laughs> I think it's too sexually aggressive. I was in the club the other day, the song came on. Why do you talk like a bicycle? Yeah. I don't know who it was, yeah. This wasn't. The thing about you got young girls now dancing these shoes. Young girls, impressionable girls. They're like, a wife gonna pack like a bicycle. A wife gonna pack like a bicycle. Me don't wanna bore me, why? Me don't wanna bore me, why? Why? And I'm like, fuck you, know, love. Can I get your number? Quickly. <laughs> hey. That is wifey right there. Like a bicycle, that makes no sense, yeah? That's what you want, man. Uh, so you guys, you guys feel good? Good? You guys got any young children together? How many kids you got? Two? Were they planned or not planned? They planned. See? A lot of people think babies are a mistake. And I like that. I think all babies are planned. Don't you think all babies are a blessing? Yeah. yeah? Thank you. Some people say no. Okay, fair enough. I, thought, I, think, I think some babies are planned a bit more in advance than others. Don't you think? I remember my child, she's probably planned for about 10 seconds before I came. You know, you know you're in there, big man, you're in there, you're like, fuck it. I ain't pulling out this time. These are new sheets, yeah? Fuck it, I'm ready for kids. We'll pay every two weeks, yeah? Don't know how much time I've got left. I'm gonna leave one more job. No, I smell weed as well, I'm gonna smell weed. Makes no smell weed, man. Come on. I see, I see bare purple lips in there. Yeah. Don't let me start. I'm not afraid, man. You smell weed, big man. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I got that. Listen. I like smoking weed, but I don't like um drug dealers or weed shows. I don't like them. But they're always lying. And then they're very, they're very inconsistent. Don't you think they get on your nerves? They're very inconsistent as well. One minute the shot of weed is all good. The next minute they got a job now. <laughs> they don't want to shop no more. I phoned my guy the other day. I was like, bro, you got any weed? He said, nah, man, I got a job now. I'm an architect. I'm an architect, what? <laughs> you get back on the corner, bro. You got talent. <laughs> don't let go to waste. This is nice, this is a nice gig though, thank you guys, but um, I've done a lot of rough gigs, do a lot of rough gigs, we ended up gigging Pepe one day, it was really rough man, you Pepe as well? Yeah! It's rough man, it smells weird. Um, 
I was like, fish. I don't know why. <laughs> Looking at Peckham, a little road man. Like, I'll, I'll talk to people on the smart You guys have been cool, yeah? You said nothing. I said, oh, to break the ice, though, I've got to do like, a little one line of joke. Just to break the ice, I said, look at the smart mouth, very big man. What do you call a bear without any teeth? He said, your mum. <laughs> That's what he said. The correct answer is a gummy bear. That's what he called. It's a nice joke, isn't it? Simple, this is the great extension of mum. I was like, bro, that's not very nice, man. That's not very nice. He was like, your mum's not very nice either. That's my switch. I was like, bro, you're lucky, yeah? You're lucky that you're with your boys, yeah? Or I would jump and I'll slap you up. These are, uh, these are my boys and by myself. I'm not getting skinny, well. You're lucky I'm Muslim, yeah. Can't, I'm fasting, can't fight right now. Too hungry. I'm gonna go. There's no mic stand, is there? Fuck. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. You guys are great. You've got Twitter, Facebook, calling me Junior Bob, Instagram. You guys are great. Alright, listen, when I call your name, this is the birthdays. When I call your name, please come up on stage. So if it's your birthday, make your way to the stage now, please. Can I get Nina? Danielle, Wendy, Karama, Ashley, Sarah, Natasha, Dion, Nikki, Fabulous, and Lisa. Come to the stage, please. Make your way to the stage. Come on, Nina. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Get your ass on stage. Come on, come on, Nina, come on. There's stairs there, man. It's all right, come, come, there's stairs there. Come on, Nina. Nina, it's your birthday. Come on, my love. Hey, Lisa, I know it's a costume. Come on, Nina. Come on, if you don't come on, come on, come on. Come on, we're going to celebrate your birthday. Come on, my love. Karama, Ashley, Sarah, Natasha, Dion, Nikki, Fabulous, and Lisa. Please come to the stage. Come on, come on, come on. I got... One, two, three, four, five, six. There's five people missing. Where's Fabulous? Where's Fabulous? Fab. Yo, Fab. Come on, bro. Where's Fabulous? Which one is he? Which one is he? Which one is he? The one with the hat on? Come on, brother. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, brother. It's your birthday. Come and celebrate your birthday, man. Come on, brother. It is you. I know it's you.
What's your birthday? Government, you know, and how many kids you got, Liz? Three 
kids? What? How old are they? Uh, 23. Thank you. 
didn't have your five minutes on that. You're right. You didn't win. Give me, give me the cake. Give me the cake. Give me the cake. Let me hold the cake because I don't need the draw. I'm trying to help Brian, you know. No, get off me. Help me draw. I'm passing from there. Help me fool in the distance, too. Alright, listen. Look at the camera of the show now. But, uh, it's late. Like I said, I'm not going to pay. There's only two more comedians, and that's a really good party tonight. Uh, this next guy, he did his one man show a few months ago, Hackney Empire, sold that two nights in a row. Um, he's a fantastic comedian, he wins all the awards, he deserves it. This guy is very funny. Let's get some energy in the room, let's start clapping our hands, everybody come on. Come on, there's only two more times, start clapping your hands. Let's start screaming and cheering for the one and only. Let me kidnap 
that tree of these mad black bitches. <laughs> you both! Close mad man. That's why I don't want no more children. And you know, I'm a, I'm a dad. I've got four kids. I don't want no more kids. That's me being a dad. I don't fucking, I don't miss doing no more. Like the school run. Oh, you see, there's mums in it. Yeah. <laughs> don't like that. You enjoy it the day. It could be a nice sunny day. You ain't got work on holiday. You still have to watch the clock to make sure you reach for the school before social services. <laughs>
You're not sure what to walk with? Don't walk with no offensive weapon. Your black police will have you for that. Walk with peanut butter. Straight! Ask Lord, make a gun come up to you and say, come on, pussy away. Who wants it first? You must kill at least three of them. Come on. I smell no blood clot. That's what you have to do then. I don't ramp with kids, I don't. But they do, they do all that walking around trying to live intimidate. My boy tried that with me. My boy is 24, he's 25 this year. He tried that shit with me until I reminded him I'm as slim as fucking him. I ain't one of them fat dads can't get out of the sofa. You know what I mean? I told him, go on, growl again. Let me take your head and block every window out of this pussy hole. Go on, growl again. No, I don't rap with my kids. Now you mums, I see the look in your face, think, that's a bit harsh. But what you don't realise, especially like the younger ones, you've got dads and that, when your son starts getting older, there's one day, I don't know what it is, but it's just boys do this. Sure they wake up one morning and just think, I wonder if my dad got pussy on. He weren't sure if I knew him or not. You understand? That's why I talked to him like that. Because as soon as I said that to him, he changed back to being a you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's right, pussy. You want to draw me a man named Captain Carr. I don't run. Don't run for the kids. Not at all. Fucking soft pick me then. Intimidate. Don't intimidate me. I remember when I was younger, you couldn't do that shit and intimidate bigger people. You don't have grandparents, so the younger ones understand there's only a certain generation, up to a certain generation, you can fuck with. Your granddad will kill everybody in the place and stand up and say, Well, me live the longest. He will. You mean a little respect in the place? Uh, no, I can't always. Custody the youth then, because we've done certain things when we was growing up that, you know what I mean, that, that could, we got cussed off for. Alright, at the instance, anybody born, say in the 80s? Yeah. That is right. Do you remember when we was younger, getting on a bus, like, I know it's we cussed the youths about, you ever got on the bus with little school kids got their phone and playing music loud? On the phone, little, you can't even hear the bass. But you don't want them to kill you, so you don't say nothing. <laughs> Fucking turn. <laughs> but if you were born in the 80s or before, what did people used to come on the bus and play music with back in the day? Ghetto Blaster. <laughs> Fed up. 
Big man, you have to stop flashing that big light on the face. You think you've got the camera out of your hand. And ladies in the place, lovely ladies. Go. And Skinny Guys, I think we're, we're back in season now. <laughs> we was out of season for a while. We got for a few years. All girls looked at was their man that girl. You know, the guys went jail. Everything's swollen and pretty round and walking around, around, around like they're allergic to peanuts. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, one of them in that told you, don't think I'm watching, you ain't gonna lie, because you, you, you see that, and you ain't say some guy's look, you know what I mean? Proper with it. You think maybe, maybe I should, you know. <laughs> That's the way that everything's going now. You know? I tried to join the gym, I did. I, tried, I joined fitness first. Yeah, I went there one day. I mean it, fuck that, everything in there is heavy. <laughs> you know I'm about to do a few more on in there. Oh, I like my shape, fuck that. All I have to carry in is my shopping and my woman, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta know what is for you. Because when you, you know, as we're growing up, we get a lot of shit, should we do this, should we do that? You feel, maybe should I do that? It could be simple things that appear in the like, yeah, yeah, this is the new fashion. Should you do that? You should know your, know your role in life. This is how I'm saying. I'm glad I found this role. Look, I tried shit that I shouldn't have tried when I was young. I tried to sell, tried to sell weed when I was young. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I tried to sell weed, but I know that that worked for me. How do I know that worked for me? I made a couple of major mistakes, yeah? As the man goes, no, but you, you gotta be truthful. That's how I know this one for me. Number one, you know, like, I grew up around these days. I grew up around these days. I went to Archbishop Michael Ramsey School in Campbell I got through bricks and then all around it. Right. So, when you grow up around them ends here, you feel, as a man, you know to top up your wages. Some men do it full time, but to top up your wages, I sell a bit of weed. <laughs> when black, it's automatic, we can't do this. <laughs> but number one thing about selling weed is you've got to have customers, in it? <laughs> you see, now I go and buy a big block of weed. <laughs> and for the weed man them in here, they're the weed man them. Did you hear that? That was too much weed for a beginner. They was trying to just say that. But you hear no, no, no. I bought half a fucking pound of weed. Oh, yeah. but I'm, no customer. <laughs> I know, you know what, I thought, yeah, well if I get it, uh, you know, everybody always asks it, if I get it, I'll let man them know I got the team. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking, I ain't gonna lie, that's what I'm thinking, right? Reality yeah, is it don't go like that, no one won't buy no weed. We, week and a half past, week and a half mum, the weed start mildew. So I had to sit down and start smoking it. But don't make sense it wasting. Yeah, I pay so much money for a nine bar and everything. It's a lot of weed. I had to take three days off work to finish this fucking block. You understand? So that means that I was, I was losing money all around. All mum used to say to me, yeah, years when I was younger, if you're going to school, you're going to end up big road. Digging road, you know. And you know, although she said that to me, years have passed now. You know, every time I drive past road diggers, I think you've done it. That's my mum, I can't help it. They might have a fucking degree, but I just think you've done it. They are. I can't do it. Don't watch out. No, no, your money run out. Your money run out. This is like a fucking phone card. You put in 60 pence, you get certain time, then you leave. I can't leave yet. I won't leave yet. I know you're not being waiting. But you look to start the show late. What the fuck are we vampires? Why people that have done their show at the rain and be on their way home? We can be out in there fucking. Don't feel embarrassed. That's a good thing. You're on, 
unto a, 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 I don't want to say a money thing. No, no, I tell you, no, 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 don't take it as a disrespect. I'm going to tell you why. We know it, because this is things we talk back home anyway, when we're in our house in the barber shop. Asian people got money. Asian people on the whole have money, on the whole. I know I hate everyone here. On the whole, Indian especially. Are you Indian, my darling? You're Sri Lanka. I'm going to Sri Lanka next month to go and work. Oi, I'm going to Sri Lanka next month to go and work. You're going to say the right thing. Sri Lanka. You're from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Your dad, where's your mum from? England. You mix right English, like Cockney. No, it's alright. No, it's nothing wrong with that. We have my kids got a white brand. I think a lot of people in here, maybe, think like, oh, the white brand. You know what I mean? That just spoiling kids wrong. He's a million. No, he's 15. Slap him in his face for saying that. Asian got money. You got power. No, they got power talking about they ain't got money. Asian don't have a. Hi, whisper, whisper. Hi, hi, hi. Yo, you are hard on the fool. Yo, watch this one. Watch it, watch it. You don't pay no attention. This is straight from Kingston, Jamaica. Look, she's getting up to cut somebody. Yes, you me are talk. Oh, you're in the middle of the room. I'm pointing to. Oh, you have some problem. You want me to deal with it? Yes. Hey, they have security, you know. You, my chair. What, you want the chair? Somebody take one of my chairs. Then how somebody come up to the table in the middle of the show <laughs> take one of the, 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 the chair them, and you, no one don't see it. <laughs> Look, there's about eight of you around there. Who took a chair, baby? Who took a chair? There's too much teeth in it. <laughs> somebody give up the lady our fucking chair before she'll mash up the show. You know, fucking thing here. You know, they will mush up everything. No, I know, I know. And you know why I don't fuck with you from young? I had a big sister who loved me from when I was young. Eight, nine at primary school. She never even asked me for a kiss, you know. She never asked me for a kiss. She, she don't even run after me in this chase, she died. And you know you're running around the school. And you don't realize she's hiding around the corner. And as the pass, she just boom. Football spit on me to last time. Tell me I must walk her home. I lost that bitch like you lose people in carnival. As soon as end the score, I was just... Done! I was done. You're right, you get back to chair now. No. Yes. Can't believe you're ready to stand up outside with my fucking chair. And it's not even IKEA furniture, you know. That shit come from Brixton Market. <laughs> It cost 20 pounds for Sidon, though. It, oh, it cost 20 pounds for Sidon. You want back your chair. Yeah. But you're sitting in one. A two chair, you buy. Yes. For my guests. For my people that. Big man. Where, 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 the, where the man them round the table? No man. All girl. Yes. Tell your friend them what this. <laughs> to make somebody Why? come in and take a fucking chair. <laughs> Off at the table with what two, four, six, about eight, nine, I'm up round here. I couldn't ask you not to watch my fucking money. <laughs> you gotta be joking. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't ask you to watch my fucking money. It's like they give you weed to sell and do what I fucking do. <laughs> it's a shambles, man. Love the ladies. Love the ladies. We don't understand you. Women do all kind of shit. They burn candles for no reason. <laughs> we don't understand, even though you pay the electricity bill, you don't know, light your candle and shit that out. But I know women say that as well. We don't actually mind them. That's not even a complaint, that's an observation. Now, enough of you men that don't live with women. You don't understand this. Your woman will burn candles in the house. <laughs> even if you're not, she just light them playing music. But it is sensual. <laughs> and ambience and then fuck with them. We don't mind. We actually like you doing it, girls. When you do it, you leave us alone. <laughs> Women never actually moan when they're burning candles. If you notice that, they don't fuck with you. They're their oops are on them. I don't mind 
burn the house down, bitch. Burn it down. Right now, maybe do one. Okay. Not to be like that. But no involve us. I've had women involved in candles that I've had no business involving myself. Kinky sex, you're whispering shit. Thank you. <laughs> so you know you was whispering loud. And I'm fucking sure. Show you. Where was I? Uh, you got me reminded. Was I talking about candles? If you fucking disturb this again, I'll follow you around for one hour. No, but it's candles, isn't it? Women like candles, some women like candles, some women like candles. Watch, here's the kinky one here. It's one of them. And you look, there, what, what is this? Come on, I like how they just giving you two away. You look going on like gentlemen, but I know there's some fuck these going on with this poor hair. <laughs> no! Well, this girl, she likes candles, candle, candle wax drip on her skin. <laughs> Look, she loves it. I decided it. You're in for a right fucking night tonight, ain't you, mate? She's just on it! <laughs> Are you on it? Have you had your Red Bull? <laughs> Jinxie. <laughs> candles! This girl likes candles, hot wax, honestly. I know, it sounds like. Ugh. But boy, if a girl's pretty, a man will do anything in a morale's about. And girls know this. Women, you lot know this. You lot look good because I ask a man, come here, the cliff, you want some more? Jump and come back for it. Man said, for real? I believe it. Have a look. Okay. Boom. Man said, oh, wow. This was just candle wax. I could deal with that. She weren't up to me to drop. But the mistake, I thought the candles were like what we got at home. Back at three, four. Thin like my fingers. <laughs> This little fucking idiot girl was a teeth. These candles from the local fucking church. <laughs> you ever seen them big fat candles in the church on the altar? A big shed one of them. Lit it, burn me up with it, Ross. The first three drops felt like they come from a volcano. <laughs> uh, you don't laugh, but I was burnt of that. She didn't even ask if I was alright, flipped over, asked me, do you mean, do you mean? That's kinky, isn't it? That's kinky, bitch. I should have dropped her off that Madame Tuzor. Oh, that grass. I mean that. Too kinky. Women back in the day weren't like that, man. I'm firm like. Right. You, you see me try to find the flat spot, and it, it felt like, no, man, fuck up, this is gonna drop. I had to put it there, man. And summer holidays, not summer, what, they got holidays coming up again for the children, ain't they? I love how you look on it half term, you're coming home to eat the house out. <laughs> bring them home, bring them out shopping. Bring them shopping, let them do what we had to do. You look shop too quick. Do you like how grandma shops? Look, are you shopping with grandma? She look on every fucking thing. Everything she pick up, she look on the ingredient. And you think, grandma, you buy this every fucking week. Come <laughs> on, that, come with them. The same shit, the same supermarket. All the food is in the same fucking aisle. She's in there walking around like she don't know the place. I don't like that. I don't like that. Number two, you're going home. <laughs> Women, stop talking to your friends if you have your children. Your children don't like it. See your good friends standing up for hours chatting shit. <laughs> they do. But we had to go through that, didn't we? Do you remember in the market and your mum see our good friend? And you walk by your rass yard. <laughs> see the difference with nowadays kids? Nowadays kids will let you know they're pissed. They, they, they don't care. Nowadays, kids, you don't want to let your beer off of oh, fucks. <laughs> you don't want to be fucking and joking and doing it. We wouldn't do that back in the day. In front of your mum, in front of her friend. You better fucking be something wrong with you. You're joking. Box. But that don't mean we 
even cuss in our heads. We cuss all of them off. They wouldn't even, they wouldn't even know we're cussing them off. I cuss off my mum. My mum's friends were always old. My mum had me old. You know when a woman had me old? Early 40s. So by the time I was like 57, I was like 10, and that, this is like my grandma and my mum and grandpa and one. Start shit. 
like I've eaten fucking peanuts. It'd be a lot of trouble. All right, you see, you see the light, they flash on me. That's like them helicopter pilot, the red light, they try and fly, they don't try and let me drop down with Ed Alexa. All right, now come off. The things here, why are your money? Well, people, as you can see, they're running me. You know, we can cross out. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you.